What's going on, everyone? It's me, your Ramily family boy, Alex the Rambler here, and today we're only back on Hearts of Iron 4. Back in the Great Kerfuffle Redux mod, it's my favourite mod, at least one of, if not my favourite mods, and they've added a new France branch, a new right-wing France branch, which I thought I'd give a try. I don't think I've gone over to the right before uh, in, in this mod, so it should be fun. Maybe? Maybe. If not, it'll still be an experience, right? And that's all we can hope for. So please do comment, like, and subscribe. Very much appreciated, everyone that does. And uh, let's get straight into it. So here we have France. In 1870, France was dealt a crushing blow by, f by the forming German Empire in a crushing war which saw the loss of Alsace-Lorraine. This made it an implacable enemy of France who has been licking her wounds since. Though the territory is German speaking, the French people simply will not let this humiliation stand. Okay, we are currently led by Artiste Briand, which won't stick around. We have disjointed government, which is um, lovely, an in incompetent industry, and uh, we have the memories of 1870. But I think we'll be a nice, big, powerful boy, and we'll begin. Right, in terms of the focus tree, they said that they've added a new uh, right-wing path, so I'm and also new army focuses. Uh, so it looks like there is a good amount of focuses here. But in terms of the actual right wing path, I don't know if it's the Bonapartist Tide, Rally the Pure Pure, the Orleanist Ascension, or support far right leagues. Well, to begin with, we have to have the exoneration of the aftermath of the Dreyfus exoneration. We could also do investments in Indochina. I forget how large the the French tree is because I'll also want to do some uh, of these focuses. Oh, I've got to sort out the pension, the miners' pension fund. God, blimey, they're surviving until they're uh, until they can get a pension. Well, let's get some grenades. Uh, I think we'll go for the, the mass weapon designer. Uh, got to get got to get some nice civilian factories on the go because our well our economy is pretty dire. In terms of an army, we start off with 57 divisions, which I think should be enough. I'm gonna be turning it into an elite force. An elite force of Frenchies. I am at war with the Wadi. I don't know if we'll be able to achieve much down here, especially with the rather dire supply. You can just pull out and it doesn't really lose anything. What do you mean by pulling out, Giggity? Like, will they get independence? I'm kind of okay with that. It was time. Okay, so we've got the Dreyfus exoneration, and then I'll form the- <laughs> ah, ah, ah! I forgot I had that mod on. I forgot I had that mod on. Oh my god. Okay, let's start again. This time without the scary mod on. So this time I'm going to let the uh, the Wadi have their independence. So if they just keep taking territory, I presume we'll get to peace out. It's a button. Oh. There we go. Pull out. Pull out! Yeah, I can't be bothered to do a zero supply war. Okay, let's form the... I was about to say production circle, but the Proud Hong circle. The Proud Hong. The best years of France were under the reigns of kings and emperors. Despite the defeat of Napoleon III, the people can, will, and will still believe in it. We've got an Ottoman mission to France. Okay, sure. If the Ottomans want some relations with me, I'll gladly accept. Got a long time before we get a decent production of guns. So, I can support the far-right leagues, I can have the Orleanist Ascension, or I can have the Bonapartist Tide. We will go the Bonapartiste. Or I could rally the Pew 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 Pew, which I think is the new tree, which is what I thought I was going to do. But I think the Napoleonist Tide would be more fun, because this one doesn't have a whole lot of conquest. And while I appreciate new content, if it hasn't got a little bit of Mimi conquest, where what are we even doing, you know? Okay. France experienced its greatest hour of glory during the reign of Emperor Napoleon I. This era took us to Germany, Italy, and even Russia. We must find this kind of strong leader by supporting the Bonaparte house. Yes. Give me the civil war. I want it. The Musa Ag Amistan visit France. Okay. But I'm remembering 1812. The defeat against Prussia is regularly mentioned as a bulwark against the return of a descendant of Napoleon. We must forget this dark period and focus on the conquests and glory accumulated by the great Napoleon I. The October Railway Workers' Strike. Um, this is the historical choice to send in the army. Send in the army! Send in the army! I'll buy army loyalty to get extra war support. 
The armed forces have supported nationalist movements since the dawn of time. However, democracy has weakened the political power of our military force. As a result, the French general staff is too afraid to give its opinion. Well, not for long. I will probably not, ha not have a revolution in Mexico. There we go. We'll have an army against the German border. I'll repeal the laws of exile. Okay. Exiled, our authoritarian representatives can no longer hope to regain power. By raising our voices loud and clear, we could break these rules that they go against the popular thought and allow French monarchs and emperors to return home. Lovely. Artis Briand retires. Okay. Oh, <laughs> look at that suave fella. <laughs> we got a famine. We got a crisis brewing. A political crisis begins. Okay. German gunboats reach Morocco. We've got a famine in colonial Africa. Ernest Monis retires. Okay. Lots of people retire. Oh, I sometimes wonder about growing a moustache like that, but then I think it wouldn't look very good. I can't force the issue. We need at least 40%. Does not have national spirit diverted national production. Uh... Oh, I have to wait six months. Okay. Okay. Fine. Fine, fine, fine. Let's support the movie industry. Yes, I'm sure people will enjoy the propaganda movies we'll be pumping out. <laughs> yes. Mass workers' protests. The army will solve the problem. Crime on the rise in Parisian suburbs. God, France is is really just in a bit of a poo-poo situation. Ah, Germany backs down. Okay, good. Germany demands compensation. Okay, I'll suggest a compromise. Sure. There's an extreme heat wave in France which reduces... Oh, damn. And the battleship Liberty explodes. Oh my god. We're not having a lot of luck at all, are we? I know it's all events, and I can't really stop any of that from happening, but still. A little irritating that I'm only making six rifles a day. What the actual F? Oh, just cancel that focus right away. Because now, I can force the issue. Huzzah! Everything is ready to launch the coup d'etat. The generals have, for the most part, secretly rallied to my cause, and we have a solid reserves of weapons. Mmm. I don't think we do. The democratic supporters will start a civil war. Well, we're going for it. Democracy. He died for science. Okay. The Austrian-born inventor threw himself from the first floor of the Eiffel Tower without taking the time to test his device during a... Oh. He tried to test his parish. Oh, my God. Well, that didn't go very well for him. Oh. Okay, the French Republic has declared war, but the Russian Empire is on my side. Okay, they are going to hold the line for now before I can send the Northern Army back down to help. Cut them off wherever we can. Good. We'll crush them. We'll crush them. We may as well march forward a bit if we can do. Completed broken ties, and now I want to restore the Empire. Oh, let's restore the relationship that we've got with Russia. Let's just go. Oh, okay. Well, that was easy. <laughs> that was very easy. Moroccan soldiers mutiny. Bruh, but you're part of the empire now. It's cool to be French, said no one ever. Okay, restore the empire. The empire shall be restored. So the tree doesn't really work because although I've got claims, I can't justify on anything, which is a bit poopy because the world tension is too poopy. I'll invest in Paris then. I don't even, <laughs> I don't think I'm ever going to be able to get their submission. France starts in such a in such a uh, sucky position. I don't know how I'm meant to not suck it. Um, I don't I don't know how I'm meant to not suck as France. Okay, we've well, invested in Paris. There's a couple more factories. I just need all the factories I can get. Give me all the factories. Give me Balkan War. Don't care. Don't care. Don't care. Don't care. Don't care. Yeah, at this rate, I don't even know if I'll be able to hold against Germany. That'll be depressing. Like, should France be in this state? Cause how, what, how's Germany doing? They've got double my economy. Ay 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 ay. Sacre bleu. Chateau neuf de pape. Anti-war demonstrations in Paris. Oh my gosh, my stability seven percent because my ruling po party popularity is only fifty-one. Are you having a giraffe? Anti-war demonstrations. I'll cooperate with the riot here. No, I'll hold the line. Oh my god. 10% stability. It was going up for a while. It was going up. Uh, <laughs> this is awful. Uh, this is genuinely awful. I don't have enough troops to, like, hold the line if I... If Germany comes into war with me here. Y'all got any of that stability? Oh, wow. Napoleon V. What do you get me? Justify war goal reduction. <laughs> I 
can't even go to early modernization. My political power is awful. I must have done something very wrong here. How can I get more men in the field? Increase the size of my divisions again, so then I can make a demand... Yeah, there we go. I've got a bit of war support, but when I go to war, I'm going to have, like, negative stability. Okay, first Lil Award. Napoleon V asked for their submission. They don't like me. Oh, crap. Just try and get whatever focuses I can get. Did we get Belgium to like me at all? Oh, my God. I'm too weak. Why is Napoleon V such a little bitch? Oh, you submitted. Yes, they submitted to me. Why? It's only game. Why do you have to be mad? Because I want, I want to... Shush! <laughs> Shut up! Shut up! Shut up, you! Now that the false Belgium state is neutralised, as it should be, we can get the Congo. Okay, I'm reducing the size. I exploited. Where is the black? I don't. I don't. You think I can get an air force? Are you insane? Are, are you? Are you? I, I, <laughs> Okay, I'll tell you what my air force is, shall I? It's f it's five recon planes and three airships, and I don't think I've got anything else. That's it. That's it. Probably Indo in Indo Indo China probably has a larger air force than me. Have I even tried playing the game? <laughs> I don't think that the UK is going to guarantee my pu French puppet, so I may have screwed myself there. Luckily, I can still keep getting. Some of that. I'll, go, I'll do Napoleonic pride as well. Napoleon's great army is the only one to have taken control of Moscow. The only one to have capitulated three coalitions in a row in Europe alone. We must put the courage and the rigour of the army to the front line in order to organise these major offensives which will make us famous. I can't even equip my army. I can't even equip them. Does anyone think this is going to be a massive ramp of fail? I have 40 divisions. 40. I need more of everything. And this focus tree gives you nothing. At least my troops are fully trained. I'm still- I'm still lack- Oh, God! Russian appeal. I do not abandon my allies. I'm gonna- I'm so dead. I can't even build land forts because I don't have the technology. I don't know how to build a fort. Oh, crap. The Great War. God have mercy on us. Luxembourg has capitulated. Why do I still have troops in Paris? Uh, okay, okay. Maybe- maybe my army is strong enough to hold. It's working. Sort of. Uh, the fr the Belgians have enough equipment to give me a lend lease. I mean, I'll take it, obviously. Look at how many divisions they've got compared to me! Oh, what is Russia doing? Why do you have to be so. <laughs> at least I've got a lot of green. So if all I do in this war is just. Oh, oh, oh. I have zero stability. I have zero stability. What will give me any. Allow Bonapartist visit. Yeah. Please! <laughs> oh, they're sending like everything. Okay. Would you like to send some troops over to the mainland, UK? Would you like to send over some troops? Because at the moment, it's just myself and Belgium holding the line. Never thought I'd hear those words, that the Belgians are holding the line. The send in the Canadians, please. I need help. Oh, I don't have enough troops. Oh no, we're going to lose a tile. I am holding on. Barely. Oh no, I'm not. Oh, we've got Japan. If at any time they would like to stop attacking me, that would be great. Execution of plan... 17. General staff expects great success. Maybe I should have researched forts. And where is my navy? Oh, here it is. Not really got much use for it at the moment, so I'll keep it just in stockpile. I feel like if we lose, it's going to be a slow grind for the loss. Let's just renovate some forts. I'll fund the engineering corps as well. I can't believe Belgium is giving us so much equipment, and they accepted my domination over them. <laughs> I'm lacking, I'm still lacking almost 16,000 guns. The Ottoman Empire has joined the Central Powers. Not good. Well, Germany is stopping the attack. They're actually giving me a bit of respite. The French Empire stands. I'm out of manpower, that's what I am. Oh my god. Really? I'll do an allied mission to Russia? Go on then. Liberia in the Entente? Absolutely we shall. More propaganda against the German- I just need manpower. Please give me political power. I, I think I'm going to stop doing focuses for a little while to get some PP after I've done a long expected war. Don't click on anything else, Alex. Don't click on anything else. Oh, look, the UK has sent one division to help. Oh, no, no, no. Two. We're saved. Italy joins the Central Powers. They better bloody not of. Oh, Italy. Okay. Portugal in there as well? Portugal is in there as well. Lovely. Oh, wow. Russia blitzing into Persia. I'm still lacking 16,000 guns. <sighs> I'm never going to clear this deficit. Why is France so underpowered in this mod? Why do you hate France, mod developers? Oh, it just spawned me seven divisions. Eight divisions. Eight. 
I may as well send these infantry divisions elsewhere, right? When they've got like a bazillion units per tile, there isn't any way we're getting through. And now they've got forts on the tiles too. Yeah, like it's just impossible. Oh, of course it's the Italians getting encircled. Beware the tank. If the Germans have tanks, we're going to be up against it. Oh, expand the Thessaloniki front. Yes, give the ultimatum. Am I getting bombed? I'm getting frickin' bombed. <gasps> we have 1% stability, everyone. We have 1% stability. That's nice, isn't it? Oh! I'm going to send 20 divisions of my 40 to invade Germany. We've landed. We've landed in Wilmshaven. We have landed and we shall wreck them. Get wrecked, son. I have too many troops located here now. That was a mistake. I made a mistake, chat. Oh, wow. No! Get out! No, they're just dying! Oh, come on! No! <laughs> no! Oh! Uh, get out! Stop repairing and escort them for sake! Oh my god! Why- what? Why would I try and just do a- uh, I made a mistake! I made a mistake! Oh no! Oh, what's going on in this battle? Well, I lost- I, I lost a few divisions, but we've humbled their navy. I'm gonna I'm gonna raid their convoys now, and I'm setting to never repair. I don't care if my navy dies now. Screw it. Napoleon. This is. I think this might be. Someone said it's the most fun out of the out of the French routes, but I'm gonna go and say this is one of the worst ones. This might be the worst. F the worst experience I've had in the Great War mod in some time. It, this might be worse than the Q8 focus tree. I think it may be worse than the Q80 focus tree. What? Can I just... That's fine. You can have independence. I'll abandon West Africa. There we go. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. What am I to do against the German Empire now? Do I send more troops down to Bulgaria and see if we can make a push down here? Like, what do I need? What do I do? I just want land and territory and fun. What if we went around them? I'll use half of my army to try and go around them in the Netherlands. The January Revolution has happened in Russia. Oh my gosh, a letter from Karl I. Are you serious? You want, you want peace? I would accept this in principle, but we have conditions. Yes. Good. A secret peace between us. A secret treaty is signed between the UK and the French Empire, with assent from other members to define their mutually agreed spheres of influence and control in an eventual partition of the Ottoman Empire. Lovely, lovely, lovely. I don't know that I've seen that event before between Austria and France. Okay, Austria finally decided to side with Germany in... in huh? Austria finally decided to side with Germany in order to formulate group conditions. This will make the negotiations more complex to the extent that the German Empire thinks it has a chance of achieving final victory. Unlike Austria, which is much more realistic, this joint letter from foreign enemy ministries arrived with associated conditions. Central powers conditions are... Alsace Lorraine will be transferred, but Austria and Hungary will be transferred. I guess Italy has claims that should be counted. See you in October 1918. We've got frozen negotiations. But don't worry, once we get through here, it will all be fine. Declare war. Go! Go! No! Charge! Charge! I'm just going to be stuck on the river now, aren't I? Well, we advanced a couple of steps. Oh, never... Okay, well, the Germans just stuck 18 divisions there. So there goes my hopes of conquest. It would have been fine, I feel like, if, if I could have taken out Holland without any interference from Germany. I mean, we took Middleburg, so I guess that's... I guess that's good. Oh. I've lost half of my navy. Can y'all lend me, lend lease me a new navy? Let's see if we can make some ground against Bulgaria. We can make no progress. I am a bit surprised sure. that we've been unable to get any, um, make any gains. Or that Germany isn't still attacking me. I may be able to take a port. Next, Constantinople. And we've got an army epidemic. Oh, lovely. 28 divisions on one tile, like, what am I meant to do against such reckless hate? I'd say Germany could use a nerf, but then they can't push, so, if they reinforce. Oh. Armistice broken on the Eastern Front. <laughs> okay, sure. <laughs> what we're gonna do is send our air force down here. I was hoping that my bombers might make any sort of difference. 
Uh, alas, they do not. So I presume that Germany will launch an all-out attack soon, seeing as they vastly outnumber me on the on the Western Front. If they don't, I'd be very surprised. Oh crap! No! What the f just happened here? Skill issue. Why do you always blame it on my skill? Why can't it be the game's fault? Huh? I don't understand what just happened though. It's all gone a bit peak tong. Okay, let's pull the air force out. Here comes the Ludendorff offensive. Ooh, we will hold. Uh, if we can hold after this, then we'll get the peace treaty that we des so desperately need. So the USA is in the war. Yeah, they entered a bit late, didn't they? Oh wow. Okay, the USA is sending in like a hundred divisions. How many divisions do you have, USA? Oh, whoa, whoa, we were. They have three hundred divisions. Do you know? I think it's over. The USA is gonna stop Germany from taking any more territory. Oh, looks like we have no supply down in Greece. Can't do anything there. Maybe I could naval invade through Denmark. Woo! Ottoman Empire's getting their asses handed to them. You'd love to see it. You don't love to see that. Executions of women and children. So why isn't Germany sending any troops down to help out the Ottomans? They're just letting them crumble. Although the supply is absolutely horrific. Not big deal. I don't need rifles at the moment, do I? No, I've actually got a surplus. It only took me to the end of the game. They're taking a bucket of attrition. Does that mean? It does not. It does not. It does not mean what we can push. Uh. Le camel! I've got a feeling this camel can do this war all by himself. Well, with the other camels. Take Tripoli. Lovely. Le camel versus le camel. Oh, collapse of Austria-Hungary. <laughs> what? Oh, okay. Peace at last. Armistice of Compiègne, Entente Victorieuse. Uh, I can't believe they just collapsed randomly. Like, bro, we have victory in 1919. Formation of the Weimar Republic. A Korean independence activist sent us a letter. Mr. Napoleon V, we have your honor to address your excellency with a reference to claim of the Korean people. So, post-war demobilization, veteran wages, yeah. The, the Ukrainian People's Republic joined the Central Powers. There shouldn't be a Central Powers, your grace. Hold on. <gasps> it deleted all of my factories, you assholes! Can't believe you've done this. Demobilize economy can go do one. Yeah, they <laughs> deleted all of my factories. Well, I'm not very pleased about that. Oh, well, I, I, I get, I get this though. We get, we get the Rhineland, and then there's the League of Nations going on as well. Peace for Romanian Hungarian War. Peace at last. There's, there's too much going on. There's too much, I say. Demobilize army in Rhineland. Demobilize army in Yupen, and that's it. A new age. It just deleted a million... Yeah, okay, cool, cool, cool. Just deletes all of your guns. Still 0% stability too. Yep. Because of the farm crisis. But this is what the world looks like now. Doesn't it look gross? And on that bombshell, it's time to end. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do comment, like, and subscribe. And I'll be back with more soon. Bye-bye. Many thanks to Duff Bowl, Jack Troku, Abdominable Seti, Alex, Chancellor64, Logan Whaley, Salty Badger, and Wyatt Green for being cult leaders and champions of the Patreon, and many thanks to all the other patrons, Twitch subscribers, and channel members too. Thank you very much.